Talkie Talkie, I'm back. Hello everybody, it's me, Hello Geroni. And today I'm show you how to flip the house. Sometimes you buy the, the house has some has some ghosts, ghosts inside, right? But then you got to pass them if you want to be able to sell the house on the today on the Lugeroni House Flippers Extraordinary only on the HGTV. Molto bene. We're gonna pass the cost. Busting makes me feel molto bene, fratello. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Hello, Lich Pit. You'll notice that, um, your badges have reached their, uh, their conclusion. That's the last one. You know what I noticed, guys? That Twitch has badges. You could put it up to, like, eight years or something, like, absurd. Like, you could, you could go, like, fuck, I, I think, I think 12, even. Like, a 12-year badge? Am I, am I right? It's like, listen, I think if we're all still here, like, eight years from now, then, you know what? We got bigger problems than a badge. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, Chatter Cheese, welcome back to the family. Um, that, it, that's, that's where I was going with that, uh, Lich, is I, I don't know what's after Rainbow. Like, what do you do after Rainbow? That's, that's all the colors. Like, what, what the fuck? Where you go, you go back down? Like, you start taking colors away? That's bullshit. Like, how do we beat Rainbow? I, I'm, I'm... I mean, the next one, it's, I don't even think, it's not three years. I think it's like five. I think that's how it works. So, it's like the way the months work, right? So, I think for, for five years, fuck. Dude, if you're, if you're subbed to me for five years, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> well, it has to be the same art, does it not? Yo, make it a dark rainbow. Make it a dark. <coughs> what do we do? Like, how do we, how do we address that? Um, thank you so much for coming, everybody. Uh, what's up, Japeson is here tonight. Japeson, good to see you. Um, you'll notice. That I'm using your uh, your overlay that you made for me, complete with the little art of Luigi that you made and put in there. Kind of kind of weird, kind of inappropriate. Like I don't really get that part of it. Like I don't know why you went you went there, but you know I appreciate the humor. You know it's me, of course. Um, it's just it's a little bit inappropriate. I think maybe next time don't don't do that. I'm just kidding. He didn't do that. Lamango, <laughs> Lamango, <coughs> Lamango did it. Yeah, again, this cough is I don't know, like I'm 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 dying. I'm I'm going to the doctor soon cuz this is not getting better. Like this has been going on for like what like a fucking solid month at this point. This was happening before that shit went down with my fucking computer. The Whittler says last week I saw a giraffe and I couldn't stop thinking about Resident Evil. I'm not sure why. Cuz Resident Evil f I think f 5 uh, takes place in, in Africa, if I'm not mistaken. So there's, like, zombie, like, alligators and or, or crocodiles in Africa, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, other, you know, Serengeti, wildlife, Savannah, uh, fucking wildlife and, 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 and such, you know. So that's probably why you're thinking about giraffes. Um, that's the only reason that I could think of and not any other, any other reason. Speaking of which, I was thinking about playing the DLCs uh, some point soon. I wanted to do it, like, I was thinking about doing one last week, and then... <laughs> you know what else I wanted to do last week? There was that fucking Overwatch, like, PvE thing. I wanted to do that. Like, I wanted to play, like, with the chat, you know? Um, there was that one person who was in, who said, Oh, could you please play? I still owe that one person a Mystery Dungeon stream from that time. They said that they were in, um, they were in, like, a car accident, and, and, uh... They really enjoyed the Mystery Dungeon streams, and they would have appreciated it if I did one to fuck it. Soon. I will address all of these things as soon as I can. But right now, we have Lugie's Mansion, and the 3DS is about to die. Just noticing. All right, let me address that. So who's excited to watch me relearn how to play this game that I completely forgot everything about? Oh, Bubba Fair is here. Oh. <laughs> Well, look what the cat dragged in. Bob Affair. Uh, you missed the stream. Uh, I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was cat. 
the witch's house. He's referring to, of course, the uh, game that he wanted me to play. Um, for the Patreon stream. A doo-doo badge for fucking... For five years? Well, I, I don't think you can... It could be a different image. Like, I think it still has to be the mask. Wait, you know, I don't see any reason why. Like, why, 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 would, why would it have to be a different... Why would it have to be the same? Yeah, I mean, I could make it anything I want. It doesn't have to be that same, like, mask. The 3DS died. At the fucking last possible second. Nope, that was just the uh, the cable giving out. Yeah, this thing has to go to Japan, by the way. I'm going to try to finish this playthrough, and then I'm going to send it to Japan to get fixed. How much does that suck? Nothing ever goes smoothly. No, I'm not going to be like that about this, because I got, what, two years of enjoyment out of this thing? Like, b before that, before this started in? And no, again, I was very gentle to it. I never, I never tugged it or jerked it or anything. Luigi, let me soak a soak on your armpits. No, nope, we're not going to do that. It's too early for that. Mansion, uh, so the last thing I remember is we had to grind booze because they're not going to let me into the next part of the mansion if I don't have a certain amount of booze. Am I right? Game is low. Bring up cunt hair. Um, okay. That's a cunt hair right there. Let me know what that's <laughs> what that sounds like. Barber Bun wants to know if there's other 3DS games I want to stream. Sure. Luigi's Mansion 2. And fuck, was Luigi's Mansion 3 not not announced? Or did that come from some kind of fucking fever dream? Some kind of cheese-induced fever dream. I don't remember jack shit about this game, guys. Oh my god. Um Help me out, chat. We've got fucking floor three. No, there's an attic. There's an attic. Do I need to be in the attic? No, they're not going to let me pass because I don't have enough booze. All right. So is there a way to fucking... To t I need 50 to get into the attic. Am I, am I right? So is there a way to see where the booze are? Because as far as I know, like it, it, right now, it's just wander around aimlessly until you happen to find one. You know, you got the ones that I missed. You, the ones that got that that got away from me. The ones that, that that I never saw. You just walk around one time. That's really it. Oh, that's such duty. I saw a fucking room that I hadn't been in on the map right there. Like it was a locked door, and the room was. What happened to that? It's on the third floor. All right, I'm gonna go see what's up. I'm gonna see what's up in that room on the third floor. I'm gonna make Luigi do the moonwalk. So how many people are ready to fucking not hear Michael Jackson's Thriller for another fucking year? Like, I'm... I, I think I heard it enough for a lifetime. Like, it's not a bad song or whatever, but Jesus fucking Christ. The radio stations really could have fucking afforded to, just, to, to calm the fuck down with that. It was on every fucking station the day before Halloween and on Halloween. Gumpington is concerned that I may not be a real gamer. I'll tell you what, I'm getting very confused about, like, the fuck, the layout of this mansion. Alright, bro, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna knock down all of these useless walls. The, 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 the architecture of the house is very, very stupid. So we gotta knock down all of the stupid walls and the pointless rooms. There's really so much fucking redundancy to this house. Like, what? Why? Why are there two ways to get up to the second floor that aren't connected to each other? Like, fucking blow me, blow me. I'm sorry, it has nothing to do with real gamer. Ah, and yes, the day after Halloween, it's fucking <coughs> November first, 12 a.m. Every radio station simultaneously starts playing fucking Mariah Carey. All I want for, for Christmas. In unison. Like it's a coordinated effort to fucking piss everybody off. Alright, here we go. Luigi, that's a wall, you dumb fuck. Take the pasta out of your fucking eyes. Guy's got pasta in his fucking eyes. Explain that. Explain that, you can't. Guess what? You can't. Because it's stupid. Fuck you. <coughs> I, can, I can see 
Oh, because that's not where the door where the door is. All right, Goblin you might be onto something with that. I'm not a, I'm not a real gamer. That's really cool. How do I get into that room? Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah, my pinger! Do I have to go in? I, I can't get into that room, can I? Can, can I? Oh god, I just remembered that boss fight out there. Absolutely harrowing. This is right. Here we go. Real door. Real. No, that doesn't make any sense. Thank you, um. Thank you. That's a little bit more than a contair this time. Let me know if it's loud. Go in the room. Oh, fucking thank you, Jesus. Can this music calm down a little bit? Fuck. <clears throat> you can burn down the fake doors, lubed up Revenant says. Bruh, you gotta bail me out, though. I... Mario, you were my one call. They gave me one call. I'm in the jail for arson, Mario. Come get me, please. I was trying to make it the front diablo sauce and I burned it down to the fucking house. It's the same old story. Mario. I tried to do it the way mama showed us, but I fucked it up because I'm incompetente. Incompetente. It's not a real word, I made it up. I think. It could be a... A, co a cognate. I believe is the word. Wow, things sure are kooky in the in the clock room. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> there's cuckoo clocks. I wonder if these wooden soldiers have quote unquote fake guns that I could get shot fucking point blank in the heart with. Which is something that <laughs> took place in Bubba Fair's game the other night. Nah, dick. Oh, yeah. Knock on that clock! I'm gonna knock on all the clocks. Oh, there's some stupid sounds in here. Mario. Mario. Call me the clock knocker. I'm here to check all your clocks. I'm gonna turn them back an hour for daylight savings. So, fucking clock in my car, uh, uh, you know, there's like a, it's like a, it's a 2009 and there's a computer in it. And that's fuck like fancy for me. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. And it's like, I, I have to turn the clock back. You'd think it would do it automatically being a, a fancy computer and such, but it doesn't. So I guess I have to do it manually and I don't know how to use like the computer. But like, the only thing I know how to do is change like, the stations on the radio. Like, I don't fuck with it otherwise. So, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that, out of laziness. I'm just gonna le- yeah. Like, I'm just gonna let it be an hour ahead forever. Well, until the next Daylight Savings. I'll remember! Like, I'll remember that it's an hour. It's probably gonna cause an inc- I'm gonna have to fuck a couple of things up and get places late a couple of times before it sticks in my brain like, Oh yeah, you had to set it back for, de for Daylight Savings. But it's just part of the process. Like, it's part of the natural, like... Jabroni Michelson prog process here. Like, that's how I learned. Like, sure, I could just go and, like, put the, that extra little bit of effort in to turn the clock back. I could. I could do that. But you know what? I don't think it's going to be worth the effort. Because, again, like, I, I, all I have to do is remember that it's an hour ahead. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Like, what am I going to do? I'm going to go get the manual for the car and then sit there and try to figure out how to... Extremely on brand, Bubblecom. Oh, I'm gonna make one more adjustment, dude. Let me let me know how 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 this because we're having a hard time with that. It seems I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that right there. That that should be good. Uh, Ploptipus wants to know if 
there's a schedule for the stream of con conscience, conscience, charity stream yet. Summerfire, you see, you, you see that? And then when it's time to set the clocks back next time, I don't have to do shit because it's already done. You see that? Galaxy brain. Galaxy brain. I think we do have a schedule. I just want to make sure that nobody... All right, let me show you the tentative the tentative schedule because this is getting down to the wire now. I just want to make sure that there isn't any like last second changes like if anybody wants to change anything before we really final finally finalize the finalization of of, of this thing, you know what I'm saying? So here's the first look at the schedule. Um I'll leave it up there for a second so you can, you know, write it down. I'm just kidding. I'm going to tweet this I just want to make sure I'm giving everybody like one more chance to get like their ducks in a, in, in a row or, or, or whatever. Just get the ducks in a row and then knock them down like dominoes. They call it duck minnows. It's more fun than you think. The ducks don't get hurt. Don't worry about it because they're already they're already dead. OK, so stream of conscience day uh, day one. There you go. Four o'clock. Welcome to Thanks a Ween. Ooh, yeah. So we're gonna do some uh, some some chatting for an hour, um, and it looks like Great Sod's gonna be doing some Beat Saber, and then I'm gonna do a Wheel of Trash stream. I <laughs> tested out some of the games today. There's some there's some gems in there, man. There's some there's some delightful fucking games that are gonna be on that wheel. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, then we got Marissa, Jeff. Uh, wrapping up, uh, day one. Jeff probably gonna go to, like, fuck, five in the morning like he did last year. Um, he's a night owl, that boy. And then we have, uh, on Saturday, starting at two o'clock with gear matic Though, Zot said something about potentially starting a little earlier and maybe doing, like, a cooking stream. He's like, yeah, I'll wake up and make eggs. I'm like, fuck, stream it. That's content! And I'll, um, make some coffee and I'll, uh, take a shit. Stream it! That's content! I don't want to stream myself taking a shit, but that's content. Everything is content. It's 2018, baby. You got to think outside the box and in the toilet like Bill Gates. We'll get back to that later. Four o'clock, you got Norix. Uh, not sure what Norix is going to do yet. Um, but then I'm going to be doing Spoo Spoo Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I'm going to try to beat it if, if, if I can. Uh, word, word is you can beat it in like three to four hours. Uh, then you have... So multiplayer, a multiplayer thatch, and then Mono is gonna do something, and then uh, on Sunday wrapping it up, we got Zito, some more multiplayer. Joel, who I believe is actually gonna do a Windows destruction for this, um, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get hyped for that, and then wrapping it up a little bit more multiplayer, and then we're gonna fuck off. So, yeah, there's a lot to get to get hype about. I heard there may be some Minecraft. I don't know. You'll have to wait. And Fortnite? Oh my. You know that hot new game that everybody's really, 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 really sweet on? Fortnite? Yeah. I heard there might be some Fortnite. Yeah. Right? Can you fucking believe? No, there's not going to be Fortnite. <clears throat> Or is there? No, there's not. So there you go. Stream of Conscience, November 9th, 10th, and 11th. Do try to stop by. It'll be fun. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Raising money for <clears throat> the American <coughs> Foundation of Suicide Prevention, of course. Again, I'm going to the doctor about the coughing. Don't, don't, don't be concerned. Stop looking at me, God. Stop. <laughs> Fucking ghost is Napoleon Dynamite. Squeak, squeak. Okay. I think his heart needs to be oiled. And the valve 
the valve. Mike, the valve! Hey, I'll bike the valve, but I like to eat ass and go fast! The valve, the valve. Holy fucking shit. I can't fucking figure this out. It's the fucking ghost of Gabe Newell. You know what it is, Lord Vesta? I was trying to fucking remember his name that entire time. And I, I couldn't... Until I saw your comment. <laughs> Alright, when in doubt... <coughs> Sook. Gabe Newell, more like Gabe Boowool. Sorry. He's deader than Half Life 3. Start the event clock. Yeah, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing I interact with does anything in this room. Activate the clocks. Things are happening? I, th I hear sounds. So the game is just like knock on knock on clocks. Okay, but what does it have to do with the valve? Is that a I I can't that's a clock? No, I didn't think so. Part of the problem is I can't see shit. This is a game for babies. And I can't figure it out. Sucking the clocks is fake. I never activated it. So what, I missed one of the clocks last time? Is that what you're trying to is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, something is happening finally. Man, it's not so much a gun as it is... <laughs> like a diarrhea antidote. Look at that. Ah, you cork corked my anus. That's no good. So what did I do? Like, I let the cork come out, and then I was able to souk? Yeah, you have to souk the cork. There you go. Oh, this is gonna be a bitch, isn't it? In before you have to start the whole fucking thing over every time you bork it? Heh <laughs> If you bark the cork, you gotta start over. Or it's the key in the back. Is what you gotta souk. Okay, yeah, I was. <laughs> I'm trying to souk the corks. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting fucked up. I think you might want to go for, like, more than one of them at a time, if possible. Now, let me see if I can get all three of them. I doubt it. Oh, they don't let you. Oh, 
All right, this should be a piece of cake now. Unless their corking becomes more aggressive. But what? Why? Because you fuck lightly nudged the chair in front of you, Luigi? Wow. Please move. <laughs> Luigi's such a goofy fuck. Like, how do you not love Luigi? And I give him a lot of shit. But he is my favorite brother. He is. He is. I've always had a, a soft spot for Luigi. Primarily because when I was a kid, and t t today, I guess, green was always my favorite color. Like in 19, you know, as a, as a baby, seeing Mario Brothers for the first time, I was partial to Luigi. That was my first reason for, uh, for being partial to Luigi, but as I got older, I found I had a lot in common with the character. You know? Like I've I've got older old I've I've got an older brother, who's you know uh, more more successful than me and more, you know, beloved. They let him sleep like inside. Like I still sleep in a doghouse out back. It's not my imagination because if it wasn't, I feel like they'd at least let me sleep inside. I have never called Luigi a loathsome cunt. Not once in my life have I ever said such a thing. That's absolute poppycock. Not now, dude. Not, not now, Luigi. That was a really bad time to do that, you fucking loathsome cunt. Hurry up. Oh, I could really use that HP. Good shit, Luke. Oh, fuck. Man, being able to see what's happening would be really helpful right now, I think. He gets to sleep inside in a bed, I assume. And I'm chained to a fucking post in the back- in the backyard. It sucks in the winter time. You really did that. You really fucking did that, you loathsome cunt. So anyway, as I was saying, I have a lot in common with Luigi, and I would never call him a loathsome cunt. I- like, why did that happen, though? Man, that's really lame. I was so close to having both of them and get that double souk, but it wasn't meant to be. It was not meant to be. And I took damage. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, I was looking at the chat for a second. It's the fire. Uh-huh. There we go. Ice ghosts. Boy, now I can construct some glass in my No Man's Sky base, now that I have some, some ice crystals. What happens if it gets hot? All the glass in your base melts? Did they think about that for like a fucking second? Uh, if you water plants around the mansion, you could get gems, Buntime says. I, for one, want all the- I want the plants to die. I hate them. So, even if it benefits me, like, I will go out of my way 
I will play this game at a disadvantage if it means a bunch of dead plants. Was that supposed to happen? Scripted loss? I know that organized catastrophe, but not in No Man's Sky. Like, make sand a resource that you can collect and then construct glass out of- out of sand. Sand could be the building material for the glass. You could use sand to make the glass, and you could use piss to make the bricks. It's a win-win. Everyone's happy. Busting is not making me feel multiple Benny right now. I gotta, I gotta admit. I gotta say! Oh, of course there's one of these in here. <laughs> Luigi, did you just give me the shocker? He was showing- <laughs> He was showing me the shocker. Is T posing the new dabbing? Wouldn't T posing be the old- the old dabbing? Wouldn't T- wouldn't T posing be the original dabbing? I argue T posing is the original dabbing. Sand is an actual ingredient of glass. It's sand and heat and what? Do you have to do anything else to make it into glass, or is it just... Set sand on fire, boom, you get glass. <laughs> just set sand on fire. And then you have as much- more glass than you could ever need. Just go down to the beach, start a massive fire, with no concern for anybody's safety. And you too could be a... Glass entrepreneur. I fucking haven't- I'm scrolling through the chat, because I haven't looked at it this entire stream, and I... feel bad. Nobody- I would look and see if anybody added me. Nobody added me. I guess- I guess you guys don't like me. Glaufrey. You can burn the ghosts down if you have trouble sucking. You, is that real? Can I just really set every ghost on fire? Does that work like that? And Larvesta bot comes in with an ellipses. Oh, yeah. Knowing full well how much I despise the ellipses and giving fuck zero shits. Not a single fuck was given by Larvestabot that day. As he donned his designer choker. Oh, that's gonna teleport me back to the- Okay, we're not gonna do that. Learned my- <laughs> Learned my lesson with that one. Open the chest. Alright. Despite the fact he's never answered a single time. Luigi keeps screaming his brother's name in vain. But that's what I was trying to say during the last stream. This is Luigi's opportunity to just kind of steal the spotlight. I mean, why rescue Mario? Luigi, you could be the new Mario. I say let him rot in the fucking painting. Let him rot! Fuck him! It's not like he was ever a good brother to you. Remember that time he asked you for all that money to start a fuck like a side business and you gave it to him? And then he didn't start the side business and when you asked him where the money was? He said, Paffanculo! Remember that, Luigi? I do. I need a little bit of a nest egg to get a little something going on at the side. And then he just did coke, remember that? And then he just used it for cocaine, do you remember that, Luigi? You can just... You're just gonna forget about that? I have to leave through the mirror, don't I? I can't- I can't fucking leave. I can't- there's- there's no other way to exit- to exit the room, is there? But I don't wanna go all the way back there. No choice, huh? 
Okay. I hate mirror selfies because I don't like when the phone is in is in the picture. However, I also hate like the selfie when you reverse the camera on the on the phone. So you can like just point the phone at yourself because it mirrors your 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 face. And then it doesn't look like you. It's all weird and fucking like fucked up and distorted because like, you know, I don't know about you guys, but my face isn't symmetrical like at all. It's really gross actually. I have a disgusting face. Why am I blind? What did I fuck up now? You missed the chest on the on the roof? Oh god fucking damn it. Guys, does it matter if I get the bad ending? Like, am I a fake gamer if I get the bad ending? He took all of Luigi's seed money and then bought a bunch of marijuana with it. And Luigi was like, Brah, you said it was a seed money. And he's like, yeah, Luigi, marijuana seeds, you dumb fuck. At least it's not like the time where he went to Atlantic City with your seed money. Yeah, I needed it because I was going to go to a seedy casino and stay in a seedy motel, Luigi. That's what I meant by seed money. It's for seedy things. You stupid bastard. You dumb fuck! I gotta teach you everything! Oh shit, it's the sitting room. Not to be confused with the shitting room. Many people have made that mistake in the past. Which is why you're gonna see all those brown stains on the upholstery here. It is an easy mistake to make, it, it is. So that's not what you wanted me to do? Like... Putting the candle out is not the... Alright, I think I got this. There we go. Whole ass looks! Boy, do I wish the fucking... I, I think I'm going to turn the gyro controls off. And just use the nipple. Because the gyro controls are just not working for me. Like, go, like, like, aim it down. Luigi, aim it, aim it down, dude. Fuck. Because I'm trying to aim the fucking 3DS downwards. But like it's in my it's in my lap and like my my dick is there. It doesn't go down anymore. Fuck. Hurry. Right. Oh fuck. Well, I need water. I need The saving grace is that there's a button that resets the position of the poltersuk. So if it's ever like annoyingly aimed up like that, I can just press the button to reset it. There he is. Bolivia, I hate you. We just met Bolivia. Um, I don't think we've known each other long enough for you to be able to form such a strong opinion about me. Kind of a fucking, like, cunt move. <laughs> My name is Bolivia. I hate you. 
Really getting off on the wrong foot there. Soy which says, I hate Bolivia too. Come to Brazil instead. Nah, you know where I want to go? Colombo. Yeah. Colombo. Yeah. Colombia. Colombo. Whatever. Fuck you too. Colombo. It's not working. Oh god, I'm trying so hard. It's not, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Yeah, so see, like, this is what I'm talking about with this, this house having a fucking infuriatingly stupid layout. Like, if I want to go get that boot, I have to go downstairs and then, like, go back upstairs through another door. Like, then, well, why, why, why would you do that? And I am aware that the house was constructed by ghosts. Maybe they're not as good as, at architecture as, as, as human beings. I, I, I don't know. I'd like to take a look at the boo prints, if possible. See, um, <clears throat> see what they were thinking, maybe. Maybe get inside their head a little bit, you know? The boo, the boo prints. I want to see you try, Bubblecum! I want to see you try! Yeah, that's actually what we have to do. Motherfucker. Alright. <clears throat> I gotta go all the way out here. And then go... And then go upstairs. Where is the door? There we go. So like we talked about yesterday, Luigi's not going to have any problem selling this house after he flips it. Ghosts or not. Because according to that, uh, that survey or whatever done by Realtor, Realtor.com, one in three people, as opposed to last year, at least, are now willing to buy and live in a haunted house. I assume part of that is because if you see a haunted house on the market... Like, if you're a real estate agent, and you're trying to sell a haunted house, you want that fucking thing to move. This is infuriating. But, it's like a well-known fact that the house is haunted. What you're gonna have to do... You have to lower the price. You're gonna have to lower the price significantly. Money's hard to come by, you know, people... Awesome. It's the- it's the rug. It's- if it has a fucking rug underneath it, it's real. It's a real door. Millennials in particular, according to the study, do not mind having roommates that are- that are ghosts. Boommates, if- if you will. That's right, I said boommates. Boonswaggle! Oh, this is not going well. Motherfucker. You got a boondoggle the boonswaggle. God, that sounds dirty. People are desperate, Soy Witch. Hold it! Soka, Soka! This time I have a special bit of information for you. You've seen some small ghosts other than the booze. Well, I'm pretty sure they're ghosts freed from the paintings of the ghost artist Van Gore. I had a passel. A, a passel? 
of trouble the first time I captured him. I know that artists strive to give life to their canvases, but this guy brought ghosts to life every time he picked up a brush. Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you've got. Van Gore. <laughs> Alright. Uh, imagine me criticizing other people for their, <laughs> for, their, for their puns at this point in my life. Pokecat gifted a sub to Calvin. Thank you, Pokecat. Well, back to the family, Calvin. Thank you so much, Pokecat. Um... But wait a second, man. Because wasn't there another ghost up there? Like, what happened to fucking Bolivia? Wasn't Bolivia up here, man? Or am I fucked up? I just gotta go into every fucking... Every room. Till I find her. Because I have no idea where she is. The ante room? Bolivia, are you in here? Show your face, your resting bitch face. You know Bolivia's got a resting bitch face. Go around! <laughs> Mario. Fuck. Alright, so I can clear this area of, of booze for now until I chase one back here. I don't know, man. It might be fun to live in a house with goats, ghosts in it if you've got the stomach for it. I mean, provided it's not, like, I don't think I'd mind living in a house with a ghost provided it wasn't like a, like a, like a belligerent. You know, like a, like a fucking, a violent, go like a poltergeist or whatever. You know, if it was like a chill ghost that kind of just maybe would show up once in a while and be like, boo, and then fuck off, you know, I, I might be okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd, I'd prefer not to, but if it came down to saving money on a house. But it might not, uh, it might not be too bad. Especially if we could get him to like pay rent a little bit. Yeah, if he's gonna do that thing, like, maybe I wake up sometimes and he's standing at the foot of my bed, but he's not doing anything? Couple of thousand dollars off the fucking, you know, off, off, off the house. Why not? I feel like most ghosts probably do keep to themselves most of the time. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I'd really like to not fuck this up. There he is. Bulldog! Mm-hmm. Because my fucking fat finger pressed the wrong button. Good! My fucking 
Jimmy Dean sausage link finger pressed the wrong fucking button. So eventually I'm going to have to change back the, um, yeah, the emotes. Because it's not Halloween anymore. But I kind of don't want to because I like them a lot. Can we just leave them? Like, who cares? It's a little stupid, isn't it? I'll change it back. I'll change it back next week. I'll change it back after the charity stream. But I kind of, I don't know. I like them a lot. This boo is playing four-dimensional chess. Mario. Oh, yeah. Mario. <laughs> God, professor, you're so needy. You're doing a spectacular job. Send me the boo and all the data you've got. Along with those armpit picks. Oh, wait a minute. What was the last part? Can you repeat the last part? You want to pick some what? Suka Suka. Just send the data, Luigi. Suka Suka, Luigi, you must be sweaty after hunting all those ghosts. Come take a shower in my lair. Where I definitely don't have cameras set up in the shower. Aimed at the armpit region. Guys, where's the toilet in this bathroom? Like, were you supp just supposed to take shits in the bathtub? Like, was that really... <laughs> Was that what they had in mind? You want to say ghosts don't take shits, but the other bathroom had a toilet. What's up? And why is there an outhouse if ghosts don't take shits? Very curious. Very curious bathroom. It's one of those new fancy bathtub slash toilet combos that I've been hearing about. That Bill Gates is working on. That's what I was that's what I was talking about before. So apparently Bill Gates, you know, being like a lonely, bored billion what quad quadrillionaire at this point in his life. Yeah, you know, he's gotten into philanthropy and, and, and all that, which is a good thing, right? And you remember last time he was, like, fucking around with chickens and, and, and stuff? He was like, I'm going to be a chicken farmer or something like that. It's like, Bill Gates, you do, you're a computer guy. What are you doing with chickens? Fuck around with chickens for, Bill Gates. But whatever. But whatever. No, it was about, like, donating chickens to people in the third world, right? So this time around, he's... He's trying to, like... He invested a lot of money into research to, to, to fund, like, um, researching all kinds of technology to prevent disease and, and, and kill bacteria and just, like, generally improve sanitation in third world countries where there's a lot of, like, hygiene issues or whatever, right? Because people don't have access to, to, to plumbing and things like that. And part of this was... Yes, Z Reserve, when he drank the filtered poo water. It's like, Bill Gates, I drank shit. I remember we all had a good laugh ab about that, right? So now he's going around the world doing these, like, uh, showcase expos. Like, he was in China, where he did one, to show off all the technology that he, that he created or that he paid to create. And um, so he's on stage in front of, I assume, hundreds of people at this, this expo. And now he's got... He's going around with, like, this mason jar that's filled with human shit. Now, I have a picture of this because I couldn't stop laughing at this earlier today. What did I do with it? Alright, so... You know, so, Obseal sends me this article knowing full well that I'm going to enjoy it. And <laughs> I'm, la 
you know, I'm laughing at it. And I'm like, is that a, is that, that, that's, that's, a, that's a jar of shit, huh? That's a, that's, that's shit in that jar. And he goes, it's, he, he goes, it's Windows 10. <laughs> Which I thought was fucking hilarious. Wait, Lackey 2, free back to the family. Thank you so much for a full year of support, Lackey 2. So he's walking around with the jar of shit. Like, he's going to all these conventions with, with, with shit in a jar. And, you know, talking about it. He's talking about, like, all the... He's like, in this jar of shit, we can have all, all, these, all these different kinds of viruses or whatever. And yes, I did. I did steal your joke, Omsiel, um, because I couldn't, I couldn't not... Because this thing is rife for, like, you know, captioning, I, I felt. So I made a little adjustment. Um... Windows 10, 11, I figured, because, you know, we know this is this is a new this is a new product that he's shilling now. Uh, Windows 11. He's at a technology expo. Just just imagining for a second that like this didn't have anything to do this didn't have anything to do with you know philanthropy or or getting plumbing to people in the third world or anything like that. This feels you free back to the family. 11 months of support, Sfeelzy. Thanks. Thank you so much. Um, do you want to know whose shit is in there? Is it safe to assume it's his shit? Like, Bill Gates' shit in his own, you know... It'd kind of be weird if, like, he got somebody else's shit, don't you think? Like, he got one of the interns at Microsoft. Steve, do me a favor. Shit in this jar. Um, that's not... It's not... Really, why I'm why I'm here? I mean, I, you know, I'm here to I'm here to make software. You want me to you want me to do what? You want me to you want me to shit in a jar, Bill? Bill, you want me to shit in a jar? I pay you to do what I tell you, not backtalk me. Don't sass me, son. Now shit in this jar. But Bill, you don't pay me. I'm an intern. I'm doing this for college credits. Oh. Well. You're doing it anyway. God damn it. So he's saying he wants to reinvent the toilet, which how do you how do you do that? It remains to be seen, or at least in the article that I read, it didn't go into detail on that. So I don't know what that means exactly, reinventing the toilet. But I got I got some I got some tips. I got some suggestions, personal suggestions. If Bill, you're tuning into this right now and you're um, looking for ideas on how to reinvent the toilet, there are some improvements that I've actually had in mind. For quite a while. And I know what you're thinking. Like, don't fix it if it ain't broke. I'm not trying to fix it. I'm trying to take a good thing and make it better. So, number one suggestion. Put it in the shower. Put the toilet in the shower. Combine. Kind of like what we saw in that bathroom there. Combine the toilet and the shower into one comprehensive utility. Where you can, you can like, poop... Like, while you're taking a shower, and it cleans the poop off of your body. No, but I, I'm... Here's what I'm saying, Whittler. No waffle st No waffle stomping necessary. I'm trying to take the waffle stomping out of the equation, because, I mean, let's be real. As fun as it is to step, you know, to, to do that, nobody really, you know... You know, it's kind of, it is kind of unsanitary. Let's, 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 you know... Let's be real about this. And, <clears throat> and that's what this whole thing is about, right? Trying to increase hygiene in, in third world countries, not make it worse. So listen, I think the last thing people in third world countries need is to be introduced to the fine art. The fucking, the, the cherished, time-honored pastime of waffle stomping. Okay, no, 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 no. My idea would eliminate the need for waffle stomping. Bulk Bogan says it's a bad idea. That's not nice. Okay, moving on. Idea number two. What if we had, like, robotic hands inside the toilet that kind of wipe your butt for you? Maybe some, like, low-level AI. You know, not nothing too advanced. I don't want them getting any ideas. You know what I'm saying? There's other machines for that, is my point. We don't we don't need this thing getting a, getting a mind of its own. All right. I mean, think of what could happen... When Skynet goes live. But I'm also thinking that it should talk. You know, if the toilet's gonna have an AI. 
And I feel like we've seen things like that before. Like, there was a talking toilet. I remember seeing some about that from Japan. But I think, you know, like, it's, it's, it's Microsoft fucking technology is going into the toilet. I'm, ass I'm assuming. So maybe we could get a little bit more, uh, you know, fucking advanced with this. Um, again, not, not in the sense of it having a mind of its own. I'm thinking kind of like something that could, that, that could be, it, it could help you through every like step of the BM process, like a helper, like an Alexa or a Siri or, or a Cortana or whatever, like that kind of a thing, but for shitting. And if it has to be a woman by default, which I, which I'm under the impression that it, that it does for, for, for some reason, they're all, you know. By default, they're they're women. These 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 things. Uh, we could call it Poop Nelope, or B Emily, B Emily, like B, like B Arthur, dash Emily. It's like a two part like <laughs> hyphenated name, B Emily. Hello, Jonathan. What would you like me to do? B, Emily, could you use baby wipes on my bunghole? Sure, Jonathan. Preparing baby wipes for your bunghole. TP for your bunghole, Jonathan. Summerfire says you done. Not by a long shot. Idea number three. White porcelain. Idea number four. The one you've all been waiting for. It should just fucking teleport the poop directly out of your body. That you shouldn't even have to be anywhere near this thing. It should be able to teleport the poop out of your body from another room. Yes, again. It's 2018. Where is the telepooping technology? If anybody's going to be able to pull that off, it's Microsoft. Right or wrong? Fuck it, Bill Gates has access to, like, the fucking CERN particle accelerator. Like, he could definitely make poop teleport out of your body. Like, Bill, can we, can we, can we make this happen now? Please? Finally? Elon Musk already has the, has the patent. Think about all the time you could save. We've been over that. I mean, yeah, like, how much time does the average person spend pooping in their life? That could be spent doing all kinds of amazing things that aren't pooping. I mean, I like to multitask when I poop. Like, I'm pooping right now. Mario. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. I just wanted to see it. Is the ghost in the dumbbells? Dumbbells? Oh no, it's a Swaltergeist! Was that joke made already? Whatever. <coughs> Fuck! You like that one, Yalta Bayoth? Yeah, once in a while I don't do too bad. You gotta get through a mountain of feces to get to the one tiny little gemstone at the bottom. It's a summary of every stream I've ever done. Bill, what are you doing with walking around with a jar of shit? Come on, Bill, that's just weird. Like, I know you're a billionaire and you're supposed to be eccentric, but my god. This is a new low, even for you, Bill. Even for you. Kid, what are you talking about? This is my friend, Jim. Alright. He's, he's finally fucking lost it. He's finally fucking lost it. 
See, there's a bathroom. There's a, a toilet in that bathroom. Are they, like, supposed to be, like, one bathroom? Like, it's two bathrooms, but it's one bath. <coughs> like, I don't get it. That's stupid. Like, is that a rich people thing? Is that, is that, is that like, a typical, like, mansion thing? But it's so inconvenient and dumb. I guess the one virtue to that is, um, you know, again, yeah, if somebody, you, you don't, you don't have to, if you have to, if you have to poop and somebody's in the shower, you don't have to wait for them to get out. That, and you know, if you're going in there to take a shower and someone was just in there and they took a, a, a monster shit, now you have to take a shower while you're smelling their rancid shit. But in that case, you could just use potpourri. Or boo-pourri, in this case. Boo-pourri. No good. Why did I do that? I'm trying to. I'm looking for booze, Miss Miss Switch. What's up, Miss Switch? Thank you for coming to uh, to the chat tonight. Also, Twinkly Muncher. Thanks for coming tonight. Why are you still talking about shit? So if you could see a cutaway of my brain, like if you saw an MRI of my skull, right? You wouldn't see a, a brain in there. You'd just see like a neatly coiled, like soft serve ice cream, like shit pile. <laughs> the better question is when is Mike not talking about shit? There's a boo in here. Oh. I didn't take damage from that? Mario. I was definitely in the blast radius. Okay, wh where is he? Mario. 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 Well, am I not, not knocking on the right barrel? I gotta suit it. That is the Souk Lucian. It's not? Mario. Chat, what is this? All right, that was weird. I'm Booby Hatch. Bob fucking nuts. Lame. Don't fuck with Booby Hatch. What is that? He? I don't even get that. Booby Hatch. What? Are, what are they trying to say? Boob Booby Hatch. Boo like Booby Trap. Oh yes. There he is. Really? Okay. So speaking of shit, there's more fucking shit news in the news today. <laughs> they're rebooting the Shrek movies. And they're also rebooting Puss in Boots. It's one of those things where it's like, don't fuck with perfection. You want to talk about if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because you know what? Like, as much as we fucking, like, meme on Shrek, they're good movies. They are. They're good. Like, as a fan of animated movies, I can't even sit here and say, like, especially the first Shrek isn't a fucking great movie. It is. And I love Puss in Boots. I, I I think Puss in Boots is fucking outstanding. I like Puss in Boots. I like that Puss in Boots movie better better than Shrek. Maybe that's stupid. That might be stupid to some people. 
D no, Shrek 5 is not happening, Square Dudes. Oh, so am I fucked? Oh, I think I might be- I think I might be fucked. Like, I can't get that boo till I get the, till I get the key now, huh? <laughs> so, no, that's really- that's really what's- what's going on here, right? I can't get that boo till I can get in that room. It is ogre now, Calvin, sorry. It's all ogre. You should be able to see which rooms have booze in them. Try pressing the plus that's shown on the bottom screen. Y y yeah R Really? I don't think that's real, dude. No, that's... That's alternative facts. Go back to the basement, Nintendo. Okay, thank you, Nintendo. And also, thank you for coming uh, coming to my stream tonight. Additionally. Fake booze, fake news. So without getting into politics at all, how many people uh, did go? Did it? Does anyone have any fun, uh, you know, vo uh, voting experiences? Anything fun or stupid happened to you while you were trying to vote today? See people walking around with the "I voted today" sticker. I'm just walking around with my "I pooped today" sticker. Which I- it's a button that I wear at all times. Somebody gave it to me at Too Many Games. Was it George? I guess we gotta souk the, uh... Souk up all this cocaine. College student says, a literal cowboy welcomed me to the polling station. I live in Florida. Did he look like this? Well, hello there, pilgrim. Thanks for coming out to exercise your democratic right, <coughs> pilgrim. Booripides. You you fucking better, Luigi. You loathsome cunt. Is that HP gonna despawn? So, I think we need one more boo, and then we could actually advance the plot here. Mario. Grinding for booze. The stream. And yeah, you have to fucking manually look. You just have to go from room to room like a Mario. fucking asshole. I would really appreciate something being on the map. And it's one of those things where it's like, no, I don't, I don't think it would detra detract from the gameplay in any, in, in, in any way, you know? Should I get in that hole? Can, can I get in that? No, the booze came out of that hole. I can't get in that hole. The ever-present problem. Mario. Or the map is color-coded for a reason. Yeah, I couldn't get in the hole. All right, here we go. Mario. Boomio, how to flee from thee. 
Let me guess, there's a Bouliet as well. Is there a Bouliet? Spicy wrapped boy. Clever girl. Clever boy. Thank you for the sub. Man, I heard the music, but I didn't see any tits swinging. Chat, I didn't see any tits swinging, chat. Swing your tits from side to side. Does anybody uh, who voted today live in a swing state? Swing your stakes from side to side. Also, the college student. back, turtle, baby. Thank you. Where did that boo go? Can, can booze travel between floors? Cow liver says he's up my butt around the corner. Are we going to have to do that again tonight? Nah, we, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll spare you tonight. Dude, what the fuck? Dude. I got fucked, man. Cause I saw him disappear through the door that goes to the to the stairs. And the other possibility was that he was in this room and he's not. Wait a minute, he could be in here, no? No. Also, electric voodoo. Back to the family. I do love that voodoo that you do when you support me and my bullshit. Thank you so much, electric voodoo. Mario. I'm getting pissed. I mean, what's the point to remake, the, to, to reboot the entire Shrek franchise? What are they going to do? They're going to do it better? They're going to animate it better? Maybe it's like, oh, we'll use that. Be but th that movie looked good. And I think it aged well, too. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the, what, like, what the, the point of it is. It's going to be the same story. It's going to look the same. What, what are they, like, what are they doing? x Flip back to the family. A meme money grab. Paladin theorizes. <laughs> Shrek 5 would have been the meme money grab. Rebooting the, the fucking entire series. What? I don't, I don't get it. Marty. This summer, Shrek is back. Darker and grittier. Not your daddy's Shrek. Donkey, they came for our swamp. They kicked us off our own land, Donkey. It's fucking like the Braveheart speech, but it's fucking. It's Shrek giving the speech while he's fuck riding Donkey to a bunch of other fucking organ. No, it's live action, is what it is. And fucking, this is. It's, it's a darker and grittier Shrek. And. Yeah, uh... Humans move into the swamp and they just fuck- they just- they just go in there, they're just slaughtering ogres because, you know, um, fear and misunderstanding of the- of the ogres and all that shit, right? So, um, Shrek, he leads an army of ogres to retake the swamp back from the humans. And, uh, it's live action. They look like orcs from from fucking um from from Lord of the Rings. Like it's that kind of prosthetics, that kind of special effects. It's fucking dark. It's bloody. You know, like you see, it's battle scenes. Like you're seeing people fucking die. You know, you see like like Shrek. Fuck, like it's in the trailer. Like you see him impale three people on 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 his one sword in one of the scenes. It's fucking. It's, it's gory as fuck. 
Definitely getting like at least a PG-13 rating. There's a sex scene like him and Fiona fuck and you see his balls. Just, just his balls though, like just his balls. And, you know, there's no dialogue in there of him, like, saying that thing. There's no there's no dialogue about ogres having layers like onions. But in one of the scenes where he's he's going over, like, battle plans with one of his generals, um, he's e you see him eating an onion like an apple, and that's the nod to the, you know, to the past, the past franchise. Shit like that, you know. Like little Easter eggs and shit. <clears throat> Man, if I would have caught that one boo, we would have actually been able to advance the fucking story. Here we go. Donkey doesn't talk in this reboot. He's just a he's just a donkey. He's just he's just a donkey. Cause you know if he if he talked that'd be too you know that'd be that'd be too childish. Can't have a talk <coughs> talk donkey. Sorry, Eddie Murphy. I feel thusly. Luigi, please, dude. Can I get, like, a, a, a chance, man? <clears throat> this summer, no one lives happily ever after. Shrek, like you've never seen him before and never wanted to. The reboot that nobody asked for. Shrek Blood Pact. I like that. Shrek Blood Pact. No, Blood Onions. <laughs> blood, Blood Onions. <coughs> Fuck, I'm dying. <coughs> Blunions chat, yeah. They'll take our onions, but they'll never take our freedom, Danke! Also, Shrek says the fuck word. Alright. This is to earn. Turn is upon us. <coughs> oh, yeah. Get out of my surround sound. <laughs> Good shit. Ticker, <coughs> ticker. You were impressed by, by my brilliant techniques? See, he is watching me without my consent or knowledge. Did you like the part where I walked around aimlessly in circles for 45 minutes? Were you impressed by that too? Chat, how'd you feel about it? We're gonna get tracked this summer. Get tracked! In 3D and IMAX. 
So correct me if I'm wrong, but I can now go to the basement and that boo is gonna let me pass or is it the attic? What's up, Static? Don't twitch and drive, please. Hurricane Beatty was impressed by how dim-witted one can be. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. You ain't seen nothing yet. The stupid train is just pulling into the station here. We're going cross-country, baby. What's up, Kawhi Olives? <laughs> this has nothing to do with Shrek, but I like your accent. Thank you. I kind of hate it. I feel though I feel like it, it makes me sound uneducated. Well, it's not the accent that makes me sound uneducated. It's the things that come out of my mouth that make me sound uneducated. But the accent doesn't help, I think. Love slug, thank you for the bits. Glad your PC issues are over. I'm moving and having your streams on in the background has made it a lot less miserable. Glad I could help. The love slug. Like Gabers. Oh, speaking of slugs, saw this thing on Twitter. Dude in Australia eats a slug. On a dare. We were talking about that guy who ate a spoon on a dare. Don't do things on dares because they don't seem to work out well for, for people these days. Though, he ate the slug eight years ago and just died from it. Imagine doing something eight years ago one time. And then dying from it. Today. Apparently the slug had some kind of parasite in it. Called a rat lungworm. Which sounds... Really not fun. Right? It's a parasite that typically affects rodents. But this guy ate the slug. Like, it was like a garden slug. And somebody was like, I dare you to eat the slug. And he was like, alright. Guys, don't eat slugs. Or maybe don't eat raw slugs. I assume he ate the slug raw. I think if he had, if he had cooked it, maybe it wouldn't have happened. Gubbington says he was paralyzed for eight years. I missed that part of the article. So that so he okay so he ate the slug. There was immediate an immediate consequence that he was paralyzed, and then he died eight years later. Oh, I yeah, I thought he was just walking around. <laughs> he was like. I thought it was like the guy in, in the, in the, with the spoon where he ate the slug and the slug was fucking stuck in his throat for eight years. What's up, everyone? What's up, everybody? Hey, why do you talk like, oh, slug in my throat, no big deal. It's not causing a lot of problems. So I didn't get it removed, you know? So I need a key for that door, so... Where am I, where am I going, chat? The attic? Go to the roof, catch the ghosts. Alright. Don't sug my slugs. Don't sug my slugs, Pink Crows. Don't lick my lick my slugs. Don't sug on these slugs. Do not put slugs anywhere near your mouth. When I was in Italy, uh, studying abroad when I was in college, um... I was out with some of the, uh, some of my, my, like, American classmates. We're at this restaurant, and, uh, this, this girl orders a salad. And they bring her the salad, and she's eating it, and she's like, Oh, it's really good. Everything, you know, everything's so fresh and delicious, and there's, like, you know, buffalo mozzarella in there. It's, it's a great salad. And she's eating it, and there's a fucking, she, like, picks up one of the leaves, and there's a fucking big fat slug under it. And she's like, Oh my god! And, you know, she goes up, she's like, there's a fucking slug in my salad, what the fuck, you people are animals! And they're like, And they gave her a new salad and everything, and somebody who... <laughs> somebody who spoke Italian, um, told me later on, like, they were talking to the, talking to the waiter, or whatever, or the manager of the restaurant, and the guy was fucking livid. That he was he was annoyed by the fact, and of course chalked it up to the you know the fact that that we that we're Americans, 
Like, you know, his attitude was like, like, what is the fucking big deal? Like, there's, there's a slug in your salad and you're fucking losing your shit. There's a slug in the salad because it's really, really fresh. Like, it just came from a farm this morning, like a farm down the fucking street. We were in Rome, so it probably wasn't literally down the street, but... Extremely fresh produce will sometimes have slugs on it. It's like, yeah, but didn't you wash it? Maybe you guys don't... Maybe you guys don't do that here. If you don't, just, just like rinse it, like rinse it off a little bit. Cause if I feel like if you rinsed it off a little bit, you would have got the fucking slug out of there. Stupid old Americano doesn't want to eat the slug. They buy the primo Italiano slugatelli. That is Italiano slugatelli. We put it in the cannolis. We put the slugs in the cannolis. It's a bellissimo. He was annoyed by it. That somebody would react like that. And his argument was, it, it, oh, in, in Italy, when somebody sees a slug in their salad, that's a good thing because that's how they know it's really fresh. <laughs> that's what the fucking guy was trying to say. She overreacted and he underreacted, is the moral of the story. His name was Pipitini Papotello. A Pipitini Papotello. Fucking, I got lost because I was talking about slugs. Game, uh, game guy, what's up, game guy? Your argument is that's bullshit? Which part of it, though? The whole thing? You think I made it up? You call me a fucking liar, bro? Mm -hmm. uh, but his, him saying that is what you're saying. No, the, the roof, Michael. The roof! Also, Rock King. Welcome back to the family. Thank you so much for the resub. Call me a fucking liar, man! Call me a liar, bro! There's a robot orgy in near Automata. Is that game on PC asking for a friend? A Roborgy, if you will. Guys, I'm confused. Isn't this the roof? So what was that thing about catching ghosts? Oh, there's a boo in here? Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Fucking wasting my time. What's going on with my boodar? Oh, is this an elevator? Oh, I had no idea this existed. I could have done this earlier, huh? Rock removed from brain. Oh, I was up here before. <laughs> Never mind, Rock is still there. The rock is back and bigger than ever. I have no memory of using that. Blame my ADHD, which can manifest in severe short term memory loss. <coughs> yes, it can. I retweeted something about that the other day. It's not always um, being super duper hyper, uh, like most people think. Uh, I do sometimes experience, like, hyper-focus. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Man, so I could have got that the first time, and it would have saved me a lot of bullshit. Good thing I like bullshit. Also, there's no ghosts up here, huh? There was supposed to be ghosts, somebody said. That's not... That's not a thing. Oh, well, you know what it was, is I went... 
I went down that other chimney first. And I didn't get a chance to fully explore up there because I got tele I had to be teleported back to the beginning. So I did it like the kunk, the total kunk way. Yank that table, Luigi. Yank it! Is it... Like a false alarm? Like, what? Guys, it was red. It was red a second ago. Like, I don't... Oh, it's because I left the room. It reset, I think. Okay. Look at his fucking HP, dude. Oh, he turned around? What an idiot! Although I was not able to take advantage of it, but it's okay because I put a nice dent in him. Oh, I could put another dent in him if I don't suck. <laughs> Fuck you. I accomplished nothing. This is starting to be fu become, like, extremely painful. God damn it! It's alright. We had to be in here anyway. I think. What 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 the f what happened? What the fuck? There we go. I wasn't quick enough with the souk. Oh, there's a ton of money that I didn't pick up. Turn around, Luigi. Suck up those coins, Luke. Meanwhile, that would destroy any any fucking vacuum cleaner that I know of. Any any vacuum cleaner that looks like this. But I guess that's a convenient way if you drop a bunch of change. You got like an HVAC or whatever. HVAC. A wet vac? Mario. Kinda lazy, actually. A lazy tactic that would end up causing you more problems. But, like... But I, t I, I, I am somebody who will do, you know, who will do things for the immediate laziness that I know, like, how do I explain this? Like, for the instant gratification of not having to do something that's going to be annoying right now, I will take shortcuts that create a headache for future Mike. Who, right now, I don't give a fuck about. I invented procrastinating, Soy Witch. I am the granddaddy of procrastinating. I've got it down to an art form. Hey. Nanner ghost. Whoa. 
Yeah, that's right, Calvin. We'll <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Fuck future Mike. The guy's a jerk off. I hate him almost as much as I hate past Mike. Almost. So I had some family over the other day, and a photo album came out, and everybody was looking at pictures of us. We were looking at pictures of ourselves. We were, we were kids and shit. I fucking hate looking at pictures of myself as a child. I, I, I fucking just, my, my face is so stupid. Wow, what a fucking disgusting display, Luigi. Shameful. The ceramic studio! Oh, fuck. It was a Patrick Swayze boo. Wow! Oi, you with the mustache. Yeah, you. What do you think of... What do you think of the jar collection, then? Pretty amazing, eh? I'll be impressed when one of them is filled with Bill Gates' shit. Welly, welly, well. We can't just let you look at them for free. Now, can we? Now, I think not. If you'd like to view me jars, you'd best challenge me first. It's all dead. See how many of me you can freeze with that ice boy, yo? If you freeze seven of me, then you win. Righty right. But if you lose, mate, it's out the door with you. Right oh, bring it on. Well, why, well, why can't you? Fr I need the ice. <coughs> he meant literally freeze. <coughs> <coughs> Can you get the ice, Luigi? No, you know, no pressure. Nah, there's a time limit or anything, dude. I'm gonna have to do this over as it is. Game's over, mate. And the results, see? You suck bollocks, mate. You got four of me, boy, yo. You suck the big bollocks, mate. All right, well, this time, I already have the ice, so he's fucked. Yeah, as long as I don't squander it for no reason. Is this supposed to be hard? Game over, mate. You got seven of me. I can't believe it. How could I lose? You made me face red for sure, mustache boy. Maybe you'd fancy getting stuffed into one of these here jaws. Not particularly. Oh my, how jarring! What's shaking, tambourine? Luigi, please. Not one fucking eight point of HP. Delightful. 
fucking wonderful. There it is. There's the fucking gem underneath the mountain of fucking feces that I was talking about earlier. We found it. The patient are rewarded. There's another boo in here? How is that possible? <coughs> How is that possible? Oh, it's the... I'm so fucking confused. When is it going to turn red? There we go. Boo caster story. What? What's the pun? Broadcaster? So that means that there's two boos out there. It's gonna be double trouble! I know, I'm sorry. Sweet. A newscaster, but it's a boozecaster? Okay, alright. Whatever. I'll give it to it. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. I mean, they're both still up here, are they not? Yeah. I feel like it's going to take a very long time to get these guys. But I think for the... For the basement thing... Well, again, the booze never came out, which means that I have enough ghosts to get in there. But I never got a key for that, did I? So I still have no idea how to get into that basement room. I got a key again. Like, I don't even I don't even remember that. Oh, the boo manity. Can you uh, like try Luigi? Right, Luigi's not a uh loathsome cunt, right? No, he's not. No. No, that's <coughs> No, that's that's not true. It never was. <laughs> no, that's not true. So the key that I got was for somewhere in the basement. But it's not the key for the special door, so... Perhaps getting into that room will give me the special door key, yes? Is, is that, like, over now? realized it like I've been in this room several times but I never cleared it like there's still ghosts in here come here let me suck your bod I'm gonna suck your bods Suck this bones clean! Boomerang! Luigi! Man, I need like some fucking help. I, I might need like some kind of fucking like brain surgery to help with my depth perception. Fucking unreal. So I remember asking this during the Mario Party stream, but I don't remember getting an answer. Boomerangs, right? So is that a thing that, like, in Australia, people... If we have any Australians in chat. 
Is that like a thing that people do? Like as a pastime, like throw boomerangs and shit? Like is it something that people still do to, th to this day? My understanding of a boomerang is actually that they don't come back to you. Generally, like, I feel like you, you, you throw a boomerang at somebody with the intent of fucking hitting them in the, in the face as hard as you can. It's not about it, it, it coming back at any point. Like, it's, it, it's a weapon. They catch ruse with them all the time. I feel like you're, you're being... I feel like you're patronizing me, Flarpman Bob, but thank you for coming to the stream nonetheless. They're meant to be thrown in the wind. Yeah, the only time I've ever seen a fucking boomerang up close was, like, nailed to the wall at Outback Steakhouse. You know, the only place in America where you could get real, authentic Australian cuisine. Man, I love those bloomin' onions. What a fucking... What a concept. What a unique cultural... <laughs> Concepts to come out of Australia there. Just deep frying an onion. Wow. Man, Australians. So innovative. The reason the Shrek is so pissed in the new sh in the new Shrek reboot reboot is that they opened a uh, they put it an outback steakhouse in the swamp. And they're using all his fucking onions for the for the bloom for the bloomin' onions. They can have our freedom, but they can't have our onions, thank you. Mario. Oh, yeah. I don't get it. Sook? Fantastic. Oh, so that was just a big fat fucking waste of time. Thank you. Yeah, Plopty push Shrek. Shrek reboot. True story. True story, man. Listen, Australians, if you formally apologize for Outback Steakhouse, then I will formally apologize for Olive Garden. And then we can call it even. How's that sound? Underboo. I'll ride up on you. What? That sounds wildly inappropriate. Aw, oh, Luigi, you almost didn't suck monster dick for a second. <laughs> Man, when they're in the hallway, like, don't even try, huh? Hurry! This is Pee Pee Cocky. I can see in my mind's eye the image of Luigi's armpit. Stinky and sweaty and beautiful. Here's your data. What's up, Sagey Kitty? The game is too scary. I indicated that this broadcast was for mature audiences. Now, you know what was really fucking scary? This movie I saw. <laughs> Fuck it. So when my computer was fucked up, I had a little bit of downtime, obviously. Couldn't fucking do anything. Um... So I put on... It's like... <laughs> it was Showtime or something. It was on cable. Um... So I'm scrolling through the channels, and I see the description for this movie. It's called, uh, like, Howard Lovecraft and the, the, uh, the Land of the Fucking ma Madness or, or some shit, right? And I'm like, what is that, like a, some kind of Lovecraft movie? That's, oh, that, that could be cool. So I put it on. <laughs> and so I see it's, it's immediately 
Like, it's an, a CGI animated ch children's movie. I'm like, oh, that... What? That's so weird. Like, you make a fuck, like, animated fuck CGI kids movie about fucking H.P. Lovecraft shit? Wouldn't that just be fucking confusing and terrifying to kids? I don't even know, like, 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 the c conceptually... To fucking translate that shit in, 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 into a fucking children's movie is, is, is like such a bad fucking idea, don't you think so? But, but, I was intrigued. I was like, maybe, oh, maybe that, that might be cool. Like, maybe they made that work. Spoilers. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't. I watched the majority of this movie just out of fucking, like, like shock, like you know when you see something so fucking like off. Like, I I couldn't change the channel because I was so fucking captivated by this. You guys remember Food Fight? <laughs> guys remember Food Fight? Almost that level of of fucking animation quality. Almost Food Fight levels of animation quality. Um, it was just, the, the, the writing was like, what? Like, what are you... It wasn't a Pixar movie. I'm gonna say that about the writing. It, a, a Pixar movie, it was not. But, if you haven't heard of this... Hold on a second. Uh, Lovecraft... Howard Lovecraft... Uh, and... The Frozen Kingdom, I, be I believe it was. Right? So, look at... An image. Uh, I got some <laughs> a screenshot here. Um, and you can see that Howard Lovecraft is your um your protagonist. Um, you know he's like the kid. You know the the kid the main character that the kids are supposed to relate to. Uh, you'll notice immediately the PlayStation, the PlayStation Two graphics, right out of the fucking gate. Um, and he's got a sidekick there. That's his buddy. A little, uh, a little mini, a little mini Cthulhu there. Right? You know, that'll, that'll fucking, that'll get the kids buying toys. A little, a little mini Cthulhu. And in the movie, he, uh, rides it around and has like a, ma like a magical time. You know, exploring this, 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 this fucking wasteland. And, oh, I didn't even tell you about the beginning of the movie. You want to know how the movie starts? The fucking kid's dad, yeah, goes insane and gets sent to a mental asylum. And the fucking kid goes to visit, visit his fucking insane father at a mental asylum. And the fucking da his dad tells him about the, <laughs> about the fucking... <laughs> about the wonderful, magical world of Cthulhu and the sunken city of Rulia. And they go on a great magical adventure to fucking save the city from, the <laughs> from fucking... The, the the guy who wrote the Necronomicon, <laughs> but you know, it's for kids. It's for kids. Holy fuck! Like how <laughs> conceptually, like how do you get there? But then you have the fuck the 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 animation, guys. I I could not believe like how bad this was. Um, but they're gonna make they're gonna make um they're gonna make more of these. And I think the budget is going to be bigger. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll say this. I'll say this. I want to see more of this. I want to see if they can make this work. I think if they could make this work, it might, it might be like fun. It might be cool if they get a good writer and if they get, if they get like be <laughs> better, better animators. I think that this could actually be, be cool. But this movie that I saw was, was not. You want to watch? <coughs> you want to watch the trailer? See if I could see if I can find that. <clears throat> hold on. <coughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on. I'm setting this up. Give me a second. Shut up, boo. Um. Uh, where is this fucking shit? Display capture. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me know if you actually. I can't see the chat, motherfucker. Alright, just let me know if you can hear it with, like, you know, your soul. Can you tell me a story? I have a 
have an idea. This is your father's. I wasn't sure when I was going to <laughs> yeah, give him, yeah, give him the <laughs> book. Give him, <laughs> give him the Necronomicon. It's a Phil Collins joke. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. I'm going to call you Spot. Spot. Suit, suit, studio. <laughs> Our fate rests in the hands of one child. Come on, Spot. Here, boy. Come on, Spot. Here, boy. It's a fucking Cthulhu. It's a Cthulhu. Cthulhu is not a dog. Maybe they read God back. Elder dog, elder god. Maybe they got confused. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this, Chewie. H.P. Lovecraft, sorry, Howard Lovecraft is back, and he's darker and grittier. Not your daddy's Lovecraft, <laughs> but your but your, your 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 son or daughter's Lovecraft. Fucking oh my god. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not good, and you know what? I feel like in that trailer, the a the animation for that trailer is looked better than the than the movie did. It looked better than the movie did. Like, I don't know what they did. They Maybe they worked on the trailer separately or something like that, but this movie did not even look that fucking good. And I don't think that that looked good. Ron Perlman, apparently, is in the movie. Are you looking, you looked up the IMDb? He does look like he's in the Addams Family, yeah. The movie looks, the movie looks worse. I mean, I want to see if they could, if they can make it work. I want to see if they can make it work. I, I, you know... Because, again, while conceptually, initially, I I thought, wow, that's, wow, that's fucking, that's stupid. The more I thought about it, the more I was like, no, I don't know, maybe, like, maybe. Like, it's definitely, I mean, I don't. Oh, they're based on, um, graphic novels. That's an important piece of information I forgot to say. They're based on graphic novels. Great. <laughs> Luigi may be as dumb as a fucking bowling pin, but he... I don't think he looks like one. Howard Lovecraft and the Kingdom of S. Okay, it doesn't look as bad as Food Fight visually. It could nothing looks as bad as, as Food Fight. Let's be let's be real. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> they would have to look a lot worse to fucking be on the same level as fucking Food Fight, man. Food Fight is fucking brutal. See, I'm thinking it could be the, the boo bait, but it, it might very well be another boo at this point, and it is. He's still in the room? What the fuck? The music stopped, and he was gone, and then he came back? What part of Australia do you think Boomerang is from? I say he's from Brisbane. Or how about Melbourne? Nah, just Perth. <laughs> just Perth, Patty. Fuck you. Sick today is fucking heckling me. I'm being heckled by my fucking moderator. Dear fucking God. Fuck. 
fuck. <coughs> I almost had him in like a little cuck corner there. <coughs> uh, no, it's not frustrating, Reed Hyena. It's, it's, it's enjoyable, you know? Like fucking ripping out your fucking pubes with a wrench. One by one, really slowly and painfully. You know how that- you know how that's fun and feels good? That's how this feels. There's 500 HP booze, Miss Switch. Luigi! Fuck you, Luigi! It's alright, you got it. <coughs> Overreacted. Ogre reacted, donkey. Yeah, I got the fucking... My reputation is spreading as being someone with really sexy armpits. Man, that's fucking... Really, really strange thing to say, but but okay. I guess. <laughs> if you say so. I was just double checking to see if the, uh... The boodar was going off in there. Oh, there might not be any more booze on this floor, actually. I mean, was that worth the, the time I spent doing it? Well, well, I mean... Correct me if I'm wrong, but you only get the good ending. Well, you, you, no, you, you have to get every boo, don't you, if you want to beat the game? Am I right? There is another uh, lock. Yeah, there is another locked room up here, yeah. It doesn't- it doesn't work like that, that's... Good, cause I'm not looking forward to fucking trying to catch those 500 HP booze, man. <coughs> that does not sound like a good time. The radar was going off in the- you know what, Bubba? I have to come back here anyway, so fuck it. I'll get him when I come back up here, I guess. Though, like, I don't really know what to to do now. Like, I like what's like what's the next move? I don't know how much I care about the rank ninja fox. What's up, by the way? Thanks for coming, man. And you get a, a a lot of money. Well, money was the thing that determines whether or not you get the good ending. I think. I got <coughs> I got that key for the basement. Okay. Got the key to the centipede room. We'll see if V-Dub is in there. This is not the basement. <laughs> what am I doing? <coughs> he just survives on fucking centipedes down there. V-Dub. Oh, that centipede looks like a snack. Bro, bro, you look like a snack. Remember that? I'm sorry. I fucking, I was uh, skipping through the last VOD of this stream, and I, I feel like I need to apologize for that. That was like really gross. You look like a cannoli. I'm gonna suck at the cream out of your cannoli. That was. Remember that? I'm, 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 I'm fucking sorry. Like I'm actually gonna fucking say, say I'm sorry for that. Like, you're getting an actual apology out of me for that. <laughs> you're getting... Yeah, it was one of the many, many things that I didn't think about before I... before it came out of my mouth. Of course I don't mean it! <laughs> Say, Dante, what's up, Dante? Again, thank you for coming tonight. Yeah, but you have the key, motherfucker.
Oh, you look like a snack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat you like a cannoli. Suck the cream out of your cannoli. I was just doing it again for the people that, that missed it last time. I'm still sorry about it, mostly. Oh, there's little fucking green cunts in here, huh? I'm getting, I'm getting worried here. I'm fucking... I'm dead, aren't I? MOVE! But, what the fuck? Suck the health! Suck it! Get the HP, Luigi! Oh, fuck. <coughs> Booby Hatch is back! And he's full of shit! Two boos were in there? What were you guys doing in there together? Boo font. Yeah, suck the fucking ice one and aim and aim aim the thing up. Cause I'm leaning back in my chair. I think it's fucking with the gyro. And there's still a yet what yet another boo in here? So that's the whole room. I feel like I should be able to access that um that valve over there. I have a theory. I have a plan. It was stupid. Never mind. The plan was bad. Poop doesn't freeze, apparently. Which feels wrong to me. But yeah, I mean, that's it. That was the fucking key for the... It just did. You saw it freeze. I did not see that. I already gave up and walked away. I already gave up and walked away. Oh, fuck my life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, fuck that. Time to give up on everything forever. All right, let's get the fuck out of the pipe room. Luigi's a plumber. He spends enough of his fucking life around pipes. Give me that shit. All right. So... What, 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 what exploded? No, I'm go- I fucking- you, The map shows you what door it's for, and I'm fucking ignoring it. Because I'm a shithead. One of those ghosts exploded? I didn't even see it there! Alright, we're in cold storage. Gotta look out for re-deads in here. Re-deads. It's not what they're called. Try to fucking reference the thing from Resident Evil 4 with the fucking thing that comes at re-deads. Re deads is from fucking is from Zelda. Oh, my fucking gamer cred is getting decimated tonight. What were those fucking things from from Resident Evil 4? Those terrifying things that were in the that were in the freezer? The Regenerator. Re-dead, Regenerator, same diff. It refroze, but... 
Oh, it was a ghost. It's one of the ice climbers. Hot. All very hot, you. You're making it too hot. I'm going to cook in this heat. Did you like these fires? What were you thinking? People who start fires in this mansion had better be ready to pay the price. <laughs> the ice price? <laughs> Fucking kill me. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fucking annoying. Oh, I have to melt it again? Luigi, please. Luigi, he's such a bumbling fuckwad. And the ice is only exacerbating the issue. Luigi's got a, an icicle fucking piercing his frontal lobe. They say icicles make pretty good murder weapons. First of all, they melt out of existence. If you stab somebody with the fucking icicle, it melts and then there's no evidence that you fucking stabbed the person. He continues to slide through the animation. Pro tips for those of you who want to fucking kill someone. That's irresponsible. I'm just kidding. Don't don't kill people. Killing people is bad. Killing people is bad, okay? Don't do it. Shintendo resubbing. Welcome back to the family and welcome to the two-year boy club. Wow. Holy shit. Thank you so much for two years of support, Shintendo. Hope you're happy with your purchase. Cause there's no refunds! So stop asking everyone! I already spent your money! It was seed money! I spent it on pot! Yeah, looking forward to this. But no, if I was gonna spend money on- 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 if I was gonna get into some kind of- Drug enterprise. At this point, it wouldn't be weed. Luigi, you're a fucking disappointment to your mother and your entire fucking extended family. Like, you have fucking second cousins who barely know you that fucking are embarrassed to say they're related to you. Oh my fucking god. What's he pee pee cocky? Um... There was a, a, some kind of study that I saw. This scientists, they're, they're saying now that... The moss liverwort... It has properties that are actually very similar to weed. And maybe even like more, more effective in, you know, like pain treatment. Though, it said less good at getting you high. There's a molecule in the moss that's shaped very similarly to what the THC molecule looks like. And it simulates the effects... ...pretty well? Liverwort. Like, you've heard of liverwort. They call it an analog... The, the, an analog... Uh... Compound. An analog compound. Um, I think it has to be extracted, like, if you just fucking eat- if you eat the moss... Well, um, I think- the, the article said it does- it- it can get you high, but it's not as intense of a- of a high as- as marijuana is. But yeah, I mean, people have been taking that over the counter as a supplement for-, for forever, right? Liver- liverwort? I never could- I- because the name is so disgusting to me, like, I, I just- Isn't that such a, gr a gross word, though? Liverwort? It's like, ew, liverwort. Like, I, I don't want that, like, anywhere- Ew, no, I don't want that near me. Like, I don't care what it does, that's weird and gross. Why did you na give it such a disgusting name? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Bra yeah. Fucking liverwort. The new marijuana. And again, I think for if if this if this actually pans out, it's gonna be more lucrative for pain management stuff in the long term than than fucking yeah. THC products. Though I don't know how enjoyable it is to, to, to it's gonna be to smoke a moss. Maybe you gotta eat it. I'm getting very confused right now. So... Here we go. Didn't I bang on that one already, though? Boulder Dash! You touched it, Luigi? Luigi, dude. What are you doing to me, man? So... I mean, dude, if there's only 50 boos in the in the game, go in the door before they explode, man. Yeah, if there's only 50, then we're we're close. He went back into the f ice room, motherfucker. Youngest child is asking, what is this conversation even? Which one? The, the liverwort? No, I'm saying li liverwort can, can... Is... Supposed to be better than pot at doing what pot does. Allegedly. Allegedly. Again? According to scientists... But we all know scientists, you know, most of them dedicate their careers to making up, like, fake data and lying to people about stuff. I and mean, that's just fuck. That's just fact. I'm dying a little bit. It's okay. You know, if you can't beat him, join him. Luigi shall become Booigi. To catch a ghost, you must become a ghost. I don't know, Luigi. I don't think that logic is very sound. No, you're thinking of Gooigi, Bubba Fair, or Luigi Goo. What, what, what did they What did they call the multiplayer character again? All right. Well, we made some decent progress in the game here tonight. It's getting a little bit late for me. Um, I know I got a late start, but again, this 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 throat thing, like my throat does not feel good right now, so I'm going to try to take it easy a little bit. Um, guys, thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, hope you had a good time. I had a good time chasing those fucking booze back and forth between two adjacent rooms endlessly over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Like some kind of Mobius strip. Mobius strip? I'm going to bed. Guys, thank you so much for all the bits. Um, the subs, the resubs. I appreciate it so much. Um, also, if anyone's new, you'll find links to all my social media shit. And also, uh, my YouTube channels right there in the chat. You're also going to find links to the stream of conscious stuff. If I could find, where is the art? Where did it go? That's that's not the stream of conscious art. Where is the stream? Where is the art? November 9th, tenth, and eleventh. <laughs> Me and some of my streamer friends are raising money for uh, charity, specifically the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. Um, we're gonna be streaming over three days. We got a whole fun-packed schedule. 
uh, that again, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna tweet out a little bit later t- tonight, or maybe tomorrow morning. I just again, I want to see if everybody. I need to make sure that everybody's happy with with what that schedule looks like before I make it official. Official. Um, but yeah. Um, links to our website and also to our Twitter account are right there in the chat too. Make sure you follow the Twitter account for all the deets, the dirty deets. Um, if you made art. You can tweet it at me with the hashtag JabroniMikeArt. We'll take a look. Do we have some, well, some art here tonight? <laughs> you bet we do. <laughs> hey, so Lamango is fucking just going to town on this dead horse. I mean, he's really laying into this fucking thing. I'm starting to feel bad for it, Lamango. Like, it's fucked a little bit. It's been dead for fucking months. Like, this fucking thing, like, you're, you're, be- you're beaten into this carcass. It's like fucking jelly at this point. Like, there's no solid bone left, dude. But there you go. (laughs) This doesn't even make sense. (laughs) How does this work? Oh, the the, the fucking... The the suction is is provided by the vacuum. Luigi doesn't have the lung capacity to make this happen. (laughs) Though Though the implication... Oh, it gets worse. Lamango... Lamango, this is this is going too far, dude. All right, good job, Lamango. I support you, create your creativity, and I encourage your artistic endeavors. You know that, you know that, you know that I do. You know that I do. But you know, it's also part part of that, Lamango. Is knowing when it's time to to tell you to stop. I'm looking out for you here. Stop it. Get some help. Get some help. That's the co-op gameplay, Butter Shutter. Yeah, that's the co-op. <coughs> you should have made one of them totally green, Lamango. Uh, also from uh, Thick Dinkman, we have an awesome uh, gif of that fucking stupid round anglerfish thing from, uh, I almost said Subnautica. And I wasn't joking around. Like, I wasn't trying to be funny. From No Man's Sky, the stream I did last night. I can't show gifts uh, in OBS because it's a big pain in the cock. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retweet this so everybody can so everybody can see because it's fucking awesome. Um, I love that round boy. All right, I'm out. Tuna Newt missed everything. Good job, Tuna. But you know what? You showed up. Better late than never. Yeah, you, you came. And to me, that's all that matters. Because I love you. I love all of you so, so much, guys. Thank you so much for um, for coming out tonight. Um, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow night. I think I'm going to check out that new Splatoon update tomorrow night. The one with the giant fuck-off stamp. Whatever's going on there. Um, should be a lot of fun. Of course, I'll do Turf War with you, with you guys and stuff. You know, so... Get hyped for that. Should be a good time. And uh, in the meantime, I'm out. Again, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. Lots of love. And I'll see you real soon.